Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa here. Still uh, what we call low budget handheld, but notice how steady I am. I could be like a brain surgeon. Look at that. Uh, although I think I'll stick to meteorology. Uh, so, line of thunderstorms at the leading edge. You'll notice no warnings in effect, so not severe. And at this time in the morning, we expect the storms to weaken through about two o'clock and then strengthen. So when you take this and just look at the general timing, it looks like the line of storms would be out of Michigan before it could get severe. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center still has us under a marginal risk of severe weather. They don't give us a tornado risk. They give us about a 5% chance of an isolated low end severe wind gust in an isolated thunderstorm, you know, a 60 mile an hour wind here or there. So not what I would anticipate as one of these lines that we often see as it gets in the Southeast in the heat of the day increases and becomes more severe. It's probably going to be out of the uh, Southeast before that happens. Here's just the general look at the movement. And again, no warnings in effect for this. So I would call it, um, you know, I would call it middle of the road thunderstorms and then an hour or so of nice rain after that. Something you can enjoy if you're a storm, thunderstorm lover. So here's the radar forecast. And I have to impress upon people, the radar forecasts are so accurate looking that some of you still don't get that this is what I'm about to show you is fantasy, okay? It's a model of the future, not like this, which is reality. This is what actually happened and is happening. And then we model into the future. I'm adjusting for time because that's what you pay me for. Um, this model still continues to run an hour slow. I'm trying to pry into Noah and ask them if if they have the time off or maybe if I'm doing something, if maybe if the daylight time versus standard time is something where the model screws up because consistently it's an hour late. So this is the forecast for 10 in the morning and it looks pretty accurate. This is 11 and this is noon. So what that says is noon time, you know, Bay City, Saginaw, Midland area, you're wet. Flint, you're starting to become wet. Clio and um, Shiawassee County, Lansing, Jackson, you're getting wet. Grand Rapids, you're starting to dry out. Kalamazoo, you're in the heat of it at noon time. Two o'clock. You know, it's into the Detroit area. It's into Ann Arbor and Saline and uh, Monroe. Um, it's still in the Saginaw Bay City, Flint areas, still in Lansing coming to an end, ending in Kalamazoo, ending in Grand Rapids, another line up to the north and west. Three in the afternoon and four. So in by the heat of the afternoon, this is pretty much out and you don't see it increasing in uh, severity much. But uh, by the time we get to the second half of the afternoon, Saginaw and Flint and Lansing and Jackson, Kalamazoo have dried out. Uh, five and six o'clock, still showers around Detroit, but probably ending. And then maybe some secondary lines of potent little quick thunderstorms in the evening. Certainly can't rule that out, but those would be 15 minute downpours. All right, now we're getting into the guts of the meteorology. Let me say hi to some folks. Harriet Berger, thanks for watching. Matthew Myers, good morning. Greg, Craig Thornton, good morning to you. Thanks for watching. This is the M Live morning weather update. Uh, another thing people are asking me, did you stop doing morning lives? I don't get the notifications. That is not a fault of me or M Live. That is a Facebook algorithm thing. So if you don't go to the M Live Facebook page for a couple of days, they figure you don't want to see it and they stop the notifications. So if you want notifications, Always go to the MLive Facebook page and read a story or two. You should do that anyways because it's, I believe, the best news coverage in the state. Um, but that'll keep 
Facebook thinking you are interested in what MLive has to say, and then you'll get notifications when I'm live. So this is the upper level. This is about 15,000 feet up, mid-levels of the atmosphere, let's call it. This is the wind flow. The wind blows parallel to these lines. This is what an upper level storm looks like. That's what's moving through right now. And it moves off. And then here's our hot dome, which is going to start to aggressively build northward, more so than it has this summer, but still Michigan will be on the edge of it. So this is as we get to Sunday. So this is a much hotter pattern than what we have now. Look at what we have now, the flow coming in out of Canada. And then look at by already by Sunday, what we do. We build this big dome of hot weather and we're, we're in the edges of it. Okay. It doesn't last long though. And I wrote about this yesterday. Hey, good morning, Lisa Lewandowski and Lee McKay and Van Armstrong. I like that name, Van Armstrong. Sounds like you could be a rock and roll star from the 70s. Tuesday. Okay. But notice this will back up a little bit. We have some disturbances and Michigan in this position will have disturbances riding up and then cooling us down at times. So we're into Wednesday and we're still more in the grip of the hot dome than not. And when we get to next Friday, here's a disturbance that's actually a tropical wave down here now that's going to head toward the Texas coast, not as a hurricane, but it's going to ride up around that ridge and then come toward us. And this is 10 days out. You can see that disturbance, but you can see how the difference is. So we're, we're here now and we're cool today. You know, we're going to be here by Sunday and heating up. And then by the end of next week, we're going to be here with the dome down and disturbances back into our area. So this is about a, you know, a three to five day stretch of fairly hot summery weather, but not anything extreme. So here's our system coming through today. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow is a wonderful fall preview-ish type day. 50s in the morning, 70s in the afternoon. This is Saturday. Saturday is a great day as we start to warm up. Sunday is a dry day and turning summery, continuing into Monday. But you can see the clumps of thunderstorms riding along the edge of that heat. For early next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the clumps are expected to stay to our north. And so that keeps us in the heat. Um, but, but then as these storms even move over this way, we can get a northeast wind, knocks down the heat. And then eventually maybe we get back in the storm track late next week with clumps of thunderstorms. So we're still in a very active pattern, just taking a break because we get into the heat or at least the edge of the heat. So today we're kind of cool, you know, 70. Tomorrow with sunshine, we're kind of cool, upper 60s, places like Traverse City and Charlevoix and Boyne City and low 70s in the south. Uh, definitely though, a work skipper Friday. You can say I said that. Um, not seeing really any comments this morning. So, hey, good morning, Kevin McCourt, Matt Dewey. Matt, I'm sorry, Matt Dewey. Uh, Denise Feldman, good morning. Jackie Garnett, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Saturday. I would say call it 80 degrees on Saturday. And this is Sunday. I would call it 87 plus or minus a degree or two. Uh, this is Monday. And this is Tuesday. One of those days, if we get into a southwest wind, we'll probably have, you know, 90 to 94 degree temperatures across the southern half of lower Michigan. This is the European model handling one of those disturbances and bringing a northeast wind in on Wednesday. Whether that will happen or not is seven, six, seven days out. I'm not sure. But the point is it has the potential and we go 10 nine days out and then 10 days out heat lurking we get occasional bursts of it and then we get cool downs in other words we get fantastic weather my friends that's the m live morning weather update i'm m live chief meteorologist mark torgro so please share this please go to mlive.com slash weather and read our posts um we 
I, sometimes I have, whether interns, the usually meteorology students almost done from Central Michigan University, they do a great job. I also have um, Tonda Gmitter. She is my editor. Um, and, you know, she's the one that we go over what stories I should cover. She does a good job at uh, adding um, additional weather information. So go to mlive.com slash weather. And remember old school bookmark it. Make it a favorite. And uh, let me know. Send me an email on things you'd like to see, don't want to see, all that kind of stuff. Hey, good morning, Michael Vagnini. Hopefully I got that right. And Patrick Lavender, thanks for watching. So this is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. I'll leave you with that. A round of thunderstorms today, probably not severe. I don't know if I'd even call them vigorous. Um, and then some great weather from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe into Monday and Tuesday even. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow. And tomorrow is Friday.